Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm a psychic and a healer, so I'm going to be doing a spread on the Divine Feminine for the New Moon in Cancer. So the first card I'm getting for Divine Feminine is Financial Constraints. So I feel as the Divine Feminine is purging a lot of trauma revolving around money. Her relationship with money is being called into question right now. I do see that Divine Feminine is kind of like... Um, Worried about her stability. She feels as though her stability is somewhat compromised. But I feel as though what's happening right now, Divine Feminine, is that you're just being called to reevaluate your beliefs about finances. I do see now that your receiving issues are being inflamed. And your receiving issues is what you really need to work on because there's a relationship between money and love. And um, the universe wants to give you abundance. Always remember that. Just Elevate yourself into the frequency of love, and that that which is meant for you will gravitate towards you naturally. I'm also seeing that a door is being closed, Divine Feminine, and another one is being opened. So, don't pay attention to the wall. The wall is an illusion. Just focus on the light in your heart and let it guide away, because you have the means um, to go forward, Divine Feminine. You have the tools you need. I'm seeing with the six chakra Archangel Manatron. Archangel Manatron is opening up your third eye, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, I am definitely feeling as though um, you're having a lot of downloads come in. And these downloads are telling you exactly what you need to hear right now. So you may be getting confirmations about your journey. You may be getting confirmations about your Divine Masculine. Confirmations about your soulmate, confirmation about finances, as it goes on. But I'm seeing right now, Divine Feminine, that this is also the 717 um, Energy Gateway Portal. So this is actually how, yeah, you may be seeing 717 or um, 444. I'm seeing again that the angels are with you, Divine Feminine. They are guiding you. And I feel as though Archangel Metatron wants you to trust the process right now. He wants you to trust that your intuition is right. I'm also feeling as though there is trauma um, being purged around um, gaslighting. So you're being gaslighted. If you, maybe you're gaslighting yourself by saying that your intuition is not on point. I feel as though you doubt yourself many times, Divine Feminine. And it's time for you to stop doubting yourself and to believe in the power of your own inner voice. I'm seeing with anxiety, though, that Divine Feminine is kind of like she is very, very hesitant to, um, I wouldn't say hesitant the right word. I would say that she's very, very reluctant to, um, to... I'm seeing, I'm like, she's very, very reluctant to, because she's overthinking. I'm thinking that maybe she's wondering if this is going to be some sort of payoff. She may have a fear or risk. But I'm seeing right now, Divine Feminine, is that you just have to submit to the Divine. To show the Divine that you do trust it. And that no matter what, you will always trust it. Don't trust when things go, are going um, good for you. Always trust when things are going bad because... Um, what you think is going bad for you is actually um, things that are no longer serving you are falling away. So let's let go of what no longer serves you right now, Divine Feminine. That may be why you're having a lot of anxiety because you know that you're engaging in patterns that don't serve you. And I'm seeing that these patterns, it's time to break them, Divine Feminine. Um, the next card I'm getting is Attachment. So, I'm also seeing that the Divine Feminist Ego is kind of flared up right now. She is starting to see that she is operating from a sense of false self. When I say sense, I feel as though the Divine Feminine is starting to see all of the programming that she, things that she once resonated with, she no longer resonates with. So, I'm definitely feeling as though the Divine Feminine is discarding that mask and actually doing some inner work right now. A lot of shadow work is happening for, for the Divine Feminine for today. Um, I'm also seeing 
that there's a soul star chakra activation going on. So Divine Feminine is aligning to her destiny. So she is actually um, only taking that, taking um, anything that, she's taking anything that is actually going to help her in the long run. So anything that is not of spirit, anything that is not of God, she is discarding. I am also seeing for the Divine Feminine that 555. So there's a lot of changes that are going on. So I feel as though there's a change in mindset. There's a change of pace. There's, um, I'm also seeing that Divine Feminine is starting to, um, the thinking man. I'm seeing with the thinking man. She's doing a lot of, um, reflection. She's doing a lot of contemplation. She didn't expect for, um, her to, um, still, like, be operating an ego. But I think the trick is to my feminine that you never stop learning that, um, about yourself. This is a journey. So, so what if it seems as though you're operating for ego? It doesn't make you a bad person. It just means that you're teachable. So be teachable, Divine Feminine. Know that the Divine is showing you what you need to heal. And it doesn't make you a reject. It doesn't make you, um, like, unhealed. It just means that there's just more for, more for you to evolve. So try to see the silver lining in this. And I'm also seeing with the next card, Envy, Divine Feminine. You may be, um, you may feel envious of your Divine Masculine. Maybe you feel as though the Divine Masculine has some, like, has it, um, I'm going to say better, but he seems to be parading about life, um, unchanged, um, stagnant. But I feel as though you have, you are being envious over nothing, Divine Feminine. I feel as though your Divine Masculine just wears it better. And I do see, um, I wouldn't say wear it better, but he has his own way of um, dealing with it. And I feel as though you shouldn't pay so much attention to the 3D because 3D can be deceptive. So just focus on what, um, focus on what you have instead of lack, instead of what you're lacking. Just know that you have everything you need to ride feminine. You have the tools you need to navigate your journey. I'm also seeing solo plus chakra activation. So this is a time for empowerment. Um, that's what I'm saying. Third chakra, Archer of Samuel. It's a time of empowerment. So, challenge your belief system. Challenge those thoughts that are telling you, I can't, I'm not enough. I feel as if the divine feminine is compromising herself or thinking she's not good enough. But you are good enough. Again, the divine gives you what you ask for. You shouldn't tie your self-worth into that divine feminine. Just know that what you ask for, you shall receive. And what you need... It's always there for your highest development. And I'm also seeing um, that you're becoming more much more enlightened about what resonates with you and what doesn't divide feminine. And the second to last card is the seat. So I'm seeing self-deception wounds are being cleared. So divine feminine, you're no longer deceiving yourself about your inner child trauma. So I feel as though now you're starting to realize that growth is a process and it's a dance. It may seem as though you get a get, get hang of it one day and the next you're just out of control. But you got to learn how to master temple to your energy. So you just have to learn to go with the flow. I'm also seeing root chakra activations. So I feel as though manifestation power is quite high today. So if you have any intentions to bind feminine, now's the time to set them. And the last card I'm getting is Angel of Balance. So strike that inner balance, Divine Feminine. Know that you have the potential to become who you're meant to be. Just trust in the process. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting for Divine Feminine. I hope it resonated.